All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are here in Naples, the 2019 CME Group Tour Championship, and happy to be joined by our defending champion, Lexi Thompson. Uh, Lexi has a win this year at the ShopRite LPGA Classic and six other top 10 finishes. I want to start with your, your win at ShopRite. That makes it seven consecutive years that you have an LPGA Tour win. A, how have you been out here for seven years already? And, and B, what is the key to your consistency out here? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty crazy to think that I've been out here for so long and I'm only 24 years old. But, it, um, you know, I started young and turned pro when I was 15. So it's been a great road, a great journey for me. And uh, consistency wise, just practicing, you know, in my off weeks and just staying level headed. It's such an up and down game. You're going to struggle a lot. So you just have to get through the hard times with a positive attitude and keep on moving forward. Are you aware of streaks like that that you've got going on for you? Or what, what's your vision of, of where you sit out there historically, statistically? Or do you just focus on your game? I would say I only know those stats because of you guys. <laughs> because you guys always tell me. But, um, yeah, I don't really pay attention to any of that stuff. I'm just out here. I go into every tournament wanting to win. And I know I put the work into my game and the off weeks and always trying to improve on myself. So, you know, if it pays off, that's great. But I'm always just working on myself on and off the golf course. Hey, Lexi, when you have a win and as many top tens as you have, and anyone else it would be considered a career season, how is it that, that you can still embrace the fans and, and us in the media while also managing the expectations that people have for you, which are sometimes unrealistic? <laughs> I, yeah, I would say sometimes they are not realistic. But um, it's important to interact with the fans and you guys because, I mean, they make the game. Um, you know, I want to get my message out there and, you know, thank my fans for always supporting me through the ups and downs. And I think that's sometimes more important than, than golf because we're going to struggle, but it's important to have our fan base out there to support us through thick and thin. And, um, you know, I, like I said, I've had a great year. I'm very happy with it. And I'm looking forward to continue to work on the things that I am now and to keep on improving. You've had a great season, one win, six top tens. How do you take that pressure off of yourself week in and week out to just go out there and be yourself and play your game? Yeah, it's definitely tough. Um, I've gotten better with it over the years. Um, you know, it's especially tough when you come out here at 15 and um, accomplish what I have in the first few years and um, with what I've done to not get the expectations from the outside and, um, you know, have that affect you in some way. But I think overall in the last few years, I've just kind of taken it in, but at the same time, I'm you know, I'm going to do me. I'm going to just try my best, and I can't let the outside world get involved with my life. Um, I'm going to try my hardest, and, you know, a lot of people don't realize we're humans. We're not robots. We can't perform to our highest every single week. Um, we're going to miss putts. We're going to hit terrible golf shots, and, you know, I've actually just over the last few months, I've just been happier. I've just tried to be more relaxed and just enjoy life and, um, you know, be myself. Um, you know, sometimes we feel like we have to be a certain person for people, but, you know, I am who I am, and I think, you know, that's what my family helped me out the most with, um, but over the years, I've learned so much about myself, and um, I'm just trying to enjoy life more. Do you think in the long run, it'll help you enjoy the game more, and maybe add to the longevity out here competing? Yeah, I really think it will. Um, you know, the more pressure you put on yourself, and, you know, listen to the outside on expectations, and what you should be achieving, it, it's just going to tear you down because then if you focus on that, you can't perform to your highest and what you're capable of. So it's really just important to focus on your goals and what you want to achieve and just continue to work on yourself. Two, two questions, if I may. Um, with all the time off, um, what's only the one event in Japan, how much did you actually put the clubs away? Was there a time when you did that? <laughs> um, Honestly, going into it, I was like, oh, I have five weeks off. I'm going to take some time off. I think I might have taken three days off, oh. three or four <laughs> days off, because I knew I had to work on my game, and I knew the things that I needed to work on. So I was like, this is my time that I can put all my reps in and just spend time on the range and basically hit balls to my hands bleed almost because I was so determined to just fix my swing and just what I was trying to work on. I just never had the time to, so I really took advantage of those weeks off. So then is it fair that the passion, you, you, it sounds like you, you have a lot of passion still for this game and what you're doing to, to put that much time in. Oh, yeah, I definitely do. Um, you know, I say we're all crazy for <laughs> playing golf because you can never perfect it. It's always something different every single day. 
And, you know, sometimes we're like, oh, gosh, why do we play? But at the same time, we have the passion to always do better and fix things in our swing or whatever we're struggling with. So, yeah, that was definitely me in those five weeks. <laughs> and and <laughs> what has impressed you the most about Jen Young Ko this season when you've watched her? And Jin Young Ko? Mm -hmm. um, well, I've played with her quite a bit, and she's just overall such a great player, very consistent and – not many weaknesses in the game. There really isn't. Just consistent off the tee, very straight, and her short game's just unbelievable. But not like she really needs to chip much. But <laughs> but um, she's just overall such a solid player, and um, it's very impressive to watch. I, I would say. Front row to Randall. Like say the one point five million dollar first place check. Obviously, that would mean a lot to whoever wins it. But in a larger sense, how important is having that um, big of a payday for the women's game and maybe the future of the women's game? Yeah, I think that's so great for the women's game. Um, I think women's game has grown so much just over the years since I turned professional. We've gained a lot of events, a lot of sponsorships, and the purses have increased over the years. So to have a tournament, or our season-ending tournament, um, to play for $1.5 million, it's a big deal for us. Um, I think it just shows how much the women's game is growing, and we just hope to continue to have that movement. <laughs> 